Some time ago, we came across this video called the top 10 hardest ballet moves to pull off. <sighs> Absolutely not. Why? <laughs> Okay, you win! We get it! So we recently did a video where we reacted to Miss Mojo's top 10 hardest ballet move to pull off video And since then it's reached over a hundred thousand views and that's kind of insane If you haven't seen that video If you haven't seen that video if you have seen that video, you will know that not all of the steps in Miss Mojo's list were incredibly accurate from a dancer's point of view. And a lot of you who watched that video asked us to do a list of our top 10 hardest ballet steps. Also, a ton of you guys came down into the comment section and gave your thoughts and opinions on what steps should have made it onto the list. <laughs> and let me tell you, you did not disappoint. So today, finally, <laughs> Jordan and I are going to be revealing the top 10 steps that we struggle with the most. In reality, obviously, all the ballet steps are hard to do well. Whether it's easy or hard, every single ballet step needs time and consistent practice to master it and finesse the step. So, keep that in mind as we go. Before we get started, make sure you press the like button if you want to help YouTube get us out there to reach more people, or if you just want to make our day, that works too. So today's video will not be including specific men's steps or how to work because those are a completely different category and they kind of deserve their own video. Point work is included though. Yeah, point work will be included. So our top 10 hardest ballet steps, we didn't really put them in order, but we did categorize them. So we have our turning category, jumping category, specific point work steps, and then we have adagio. And then within those categories, we'll probably rank them, which is the hardest of that category and which one might be a little less hard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let's go. Starting with double PK on Dior. <laughs> Double PK turns and they or slash double step up turns slash double lame duck. Yeah, I don't really <laughs> like these at all. To the right, it's okay. Thank God, most of the time in classical ballet rap, you will do them on the right. Left is so bad though. The left just, is, it's, it's humbling. Let's just say that. <laughs> what I find hard about it is you really gotta know exactly how much force is going into it and your alignment's gotta be spot on. Otherwise, you're just gonna you are transferring from one foot to another as you're turning. And so that transition has to be absolutely pristine yeah. in order for you to keep the balance and keep the momentum going at a very even pace. Yeah. Otherwise, it'll just fall apart. Double PK on Dior is definitely one of the most humbling steps, particularly on the left. Fuetes. Fuete. Miss Mojo did mention this. Yeah. She mentioned two of them actually. There are a lot of different kind of fuete. Fuete simply means whipped in French. There's pique arabesque fuete. Batement fuete sauté. Batement fuete sauté. There's a lot of different kinds of fuetes, but I think what we're specifically talking about are Turning. the consecutive fuete on one leg that you will commonly see in Black Swan Parada, Don Quixote, even La Bayadere, those kinds of fuetes. So why don't you tell us what the hardest one is here? Okay, so they're hard in different ways. Obviously Obviously you have your Russian fuete, mm -hmm. the most common kind of fuete. I think those are really hard because you're turning just so fast and you have so much momentum going. Legs are heavy and <laughs> they it's, are. you're using that as your prime source of momentum. And so it's a lot to control and it requires a lot of strength mm -hmm. and at the same time control at high speed. Yeah. And I also think it's such a mental game because generally when we do fuete, it's usually in the context of doing 16 or 32. It's really easy to psych yourself out. You have to trust yourself, trust your technique and believe yourself. Next kind of fuete is Italian fuetes. Mm -hmm. 
Ms. Mojo also mentioned that one. Yes. I think at that point we were like, yeah, she had the point she there. The point, yeah. <laughs> Italians are hard because there's a lot of moving parts, like we said in that video. It's because that leg is, you know, doing a huge swinging motion and it has the potential to take your energy right off your leg. It's just controlling all of that force. It's like yeah. kind of what you said in the Russian fuete, except I feel like this one's on a much larger scale. Like you're bringing the leg up way higher and when you take the leg up that high and you start bringing it down, it automatically has a lot more force coming down with it. Yeah. It's challenging. I think it just takes a lot of core strength yeah. to keep your center of balance um, centered on balance. And the last kind of fuete. Ande dan fuete. Ah! Almost impossible. <laughs> you guys, almost impossible. I've only seen this a few times in classical rep, and one of them is in La Baya Dare. Yeah. Princess Gamzati, she usually has the astonishing honor he. of performing these ande dan fuetes. It is absolutely mind boggling when they do it well. Oh, but yeah. if you go ahead and try it, you'll know. It does <laughs> not feel amazing. That one's definitely hard because you're going from back to side. And it's a totally different yeah. set of muscles. Transitioning from arabesque slash attitude in the back to bringing the leg a la second or to the side and having all the muscles transition to get that leg there is uh -huh. absolutely insane. Yeah. It's very, very difficult. Also because your spine's in a complete different position. Mm -hmm. You know, your spine has to bend a little bit to compensate the leg uh -huh. in the attitude and then it has to quickly readjust into the a la second position on balance for the fuete. Straight Straight up and down. Yes. And then you have to do it again. That is quite a challenge. So yeah, those three fuetes, Russian fuete, Italian fuete, and the Andean fuete. The end. Another turning step that we find not difficult so much, but more just awkward. Yeah, more awkward than anything. Is the attitude or arabesque turn on day or. <laughs> you like start in a fourth position, and instead of doing a regular pirouette, you take the leg up to attitude or to arabesque. It's the most <laughs> awkward step. We're used to doing these turns on the done, but this one is you start in fourth, you have to go against where your natural momentum wants to go and yeah. channel it in the opposite direction and try and make it a beautiful turn. And yeah. it just feels so awkward. <laughs> it's uncomfy. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. Uncomfy. I think double, double pique turn. Double or would be, e well, easier than the rest yeah. of them. And then probably attitude arabesque turn. And then Italian fuete, uh -huh. then Russian fuete, then Andalian fuete. <laughs> I agree, Andalian fuete takes the cake for hardest turn step. Yeah. <laughs> Right off the bat, we are gonna mention one that you guys said so much in the comments, and that is the ever infamous, <laughs> highly beloved, absolutely <laughs> graceful Garguiad. <laughs> Garguiad. Uh, it's, in theory, not that difficult. It's so hard to make it look <laughs> even remotely decent. Yeah. That's the thing. It, 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 I, I, I don't have words to describe. <laughs> so basically, in essence, what a Garguiad is, it's like a glissade. You know that little Yoshi jump? <laughs> That's what a Garguiad looks like to me. Basically what it is, you have to jump and you do a double run to jump with one leg and you do a double rondo jump on the other leg and you land like you would in a glissade. And it's very difficult to make that double run on both legs happen and also look good. I feel like the universal hated step, it's Garguiad. Yeah. Unfortunately. Like in, in, in theory, it shouldn't be hard because it's a small jump. Piece. Yeah. But then at the same time, it's like, if you can make it look good, it's like instant respect. Okay. This is another one that's, I'm probably going to get people commenting like, you're just a bad dancer. That's why you think this is hard. But I think it's hard. And that's jeté batu under. So, so instead of jeté, like the regular way, the like, the, the reverse, reverse way. <laughs> with the beat. <laughs> yeah, with the beat. I don't like them at all. The thing with jeté under, batu, is that you don't really see it so much in rep. 
No. But you will do it a lot in class. Your jeté over will naturally move forward ever so slightly. Yes. Your jeté batu under is going to move backwards slightly. And that act of jumping backwards is very odd. It's odd. It's That's odd. what it is. Not the hardest jump ever, but I think a very hard one nonetheless. You can dispute me in the comments, I guess. It's fine. The bane of my existence, I was very comforted in the comments by all the people who were able to commiserate with me. Brisez volé. <laughs> oh my goodness, where to start with this one? This one is a step that all the men make look so easy. They look like they're flying. Yeah. And just they're like, brum, 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 like in Bluebird. It's not my favorite. I think it's very awkward because you have to do brise and then you have to brush the front foot past the back and then oh, do the brise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just that, a strange like, switch. It, the switch is so weird. And then changing your weight so quickly from like going forward and then going backwards, and you feel like you're in a washing machine sort of. Right. You know, it's just yeah. so, it's it's really difficult. And then making the beats happen cleanly. I think something that really helps with Brise Volé is you just gotta go for it, yeah. you know? Attack it. Yeah. With force. <laughs> Attack it before it attacks you. Yeah. Another one. It's a very Bourneville step. This one is double rond de jam with a tolave. You know, the little, the ones yeah, that they do in the, Flower the, Festival. The, yeah. They're not my favorite. I think it's the combination of the double rond de jam and then also just trying to point that bottom foot all the way and not ending up with a little like chug. I think those two <laughs> things combined together is a challenge to say the least, but I genuinely think that it's a very cute step. I had to do them for Napoli, Ugh. a lot of them. And I feel like I got pretty comfortable with them after three months of rehearsal, <laughs> <laughs> but it's still not natural. Yeah. Not natural unless you do them every single day. I think Garg Gargouillade probably would be the hardest just because from a technical aspect, I could never really get the true double rond de jam. Um, you know what? I actually might put double rond de jam under Gargouillade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It depends in what context. If you're doing consecutive, double right, rond de jam. If you're doing like an up and ron, that's not too bad. That's not you're too like, bad. <laughs> if you're doing repeated <laughs> ones, I would put it under Gargouillade. And then I'd probably put, I'm about to be very controversial. Mm. I would put Jete Batu under above Brise Volé. Like, That's I nice. definitely think that Brise Volé is like the hardest. <laughs> <laughs> Brise Volé is definitely the hardest for me. And then I would say, uh, then probably Gargriad, right. Double Rond, and then Jete Batu. So we got through turns, we got through jumps. Now for specific point, point work, work steps. steps. Oh, I have one. Okay. Cecil on point. No, 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 no. No, but seriously, that's a very, 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 very precarious and very scary step. Also very painful. Especially when you go to Arabes Planche, like in Diana and Acteon. Duh. Yeah, I don't like that. It's scary. And even if you know you're not gonna fall, well, you never know if you're not gonna fall because Cecil, you just never know. Instead of just a releve, where your foot's here and you releve straight up, a seesaw, you have to jump and slide up, like, like yeah. that. You, like, slide out on your point. Yeah. And also, just so much weight on the, on the toe. toe. It, it's painful, it's jarring, it's unpredictable. I think it looks nice when it's done well. I think it looks very dangerous, very daring, very adventurous and out there. Yeah, but to dance it, it really <laughs> definitely feels I dangerous <laughs> and daring and out there. But, I mean, for crowd appeal, we make anything it work. for the crowd. We love you guys. We'll do anything for you. Hops on um, point. Hops on point. Oh. Yeah, I know. You don't hate these. <laughs> this next one is one that Jordan doesn't hate, but I hate. And that is hops on point. A lot of you actually in the comments mentioned hops on point. And yes. Yeah. Hops on point are very difficult. I think the Giselle ones, you know, where it's just like this. Like, those aren't bad. I can get through those. Uh -huh. you yeah, know. you can power through those. Power through easy. those. What gets me is, you know, in Walpurg is knocked. Flames of Paris. Flames of Paris. And even um, that Paquito one, where you do the, the run jump, where they're getting higher, I think hops on point in any position other than those little tiny the ones, little ones are really hard for me. Especially if you're turning. <laughs> 
Not my thing. Not my thing at all. I personally really like Hoplon Point. I'm not saying that they're easy because they're not, but I do enjoy them. Don't hate on me. Oh. Hate on her in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I think my one big gripe about Hoplon Point is how ugly the bottom foot looks. Cashew foot. It. <laughs> it looks very dainty, especially in Giselle because her foot is angled in a way so you don't see the position of the foot, unless of course she does the turning ones. Right. But when you're doing the turning ones, it's not flattering in my opinion. I think it's a combination of the ankle being pulled back and also the knee being bent. Breaks the line, it's not a, instead of a long straight line, yeah. you have like a, a sort of more broken line. Yeah. For stability's sake, but well done hops on point are definitely a showstopper. It's it more is. of a trick step or it it's is. one of the female trick steps. Mm -hmm. Oh, harder. which one did I say is harder? Oh, uh, they're almost, they're pretty much equal for me. It's I, a really close call. It's a very close call. I think hops on point are just that much harder. The hard hops on points are harder than a Cecil arabesque. Okay, final category is Adagio. Uh, Miss Mojo did mention this as well. Um, Adagio is the quality of movement. And it's like the very slow and very smooth, connected, flowy. Um, slow and sustained. Slow and sustained movement. That, that's yes. the most concise way to put it. Let's start most. with what Miss Mojo said. Arabaz Panche. <sighs> uh, not my favorite. It requires extreme amounts of flexibility yes. and also extreme amounts of strength. You have to be the full package in order to present it yeah. well. Yeah. yeah. When it is done well, it's absolutely breathtaking. Yes. Especially that one in Giselle. If you haven't seen our Giselle video, Grand Ronde de Jam. I think it's very difficult as one who's not commonly an adagio kind of girl. I think it's really hard to keep the same height for the whole trip around. And it's just, it's long ground runner jump going from the back side front yeah. is way harder than going front side back. I feel like with all adagio, you can't cheat anything. No. You can't get lucky with adagio. Mm -hmm. You know, a turn you might get lucky and be able to yeah. nail it, but adagio, there's no luck involved. Yeah, and I think that's part of what makes it so breathtaking when it's done well. Uh -huh. Cause you know, this wasn't luck. This is raw skill, raw, Pure raw talent, talent and work. <laughs> Another adagio step that's notoriously challenging is promenades. Namely, when the leg is not in arabesque. So whether it be in Devope Devant or Alice Khan. When it's an arabesque or attitude, you're, it's easier because you have that counterbalance going. Yes. Leg is back, but your body's slightly forward. And you're also using bigger muscle groups. So like yeah. your glutes, your hamstring, and your back. Yeah. And you have, you're, you're more or less balanced, uh -huh. you know, right. when you're going around. But if you're in Developé à la seconde, for example. What's holding you up? <laughs> you... <laughs> your body still needs to be relatively upright. Yes. So you're here, and then randomly you have your leg that should be up here. Uh -huh. So your the tendency is to want to go this way. Yeah. But you can't offset it, right? You can't lean sideways. You have to stay upright. You just have to use like force and energy. Yeah. yeah. To counterbalance yourself rather yeah. than your own body weight. Which yeah. Is very very interesting. And then add that while turning. Yeah, you're turning. Slowly. <laughs> it's incredible when done well. I think the promenade is an amazing step. It's beautiful. How would you rank these? Oh man. <laughs> I would say that I think Grand Ronde de Jam is probably the one that I find the least challenging out of these three. Grand Ronde de Jam. Then I'd probably say Panche Arabesque and then Promenade is the hardest, I think. Yeah. In anything other than Arabesque Gratitude. Yeah. Because everybody in attitude, we do a lot. How about you? How would you rank them? I'd say probably the same. Oh, thing. really? Okay. Yeah. Okay. But, okay. but by a very, very tiny amount. Like, they're pretty much all on par for me. So those were the top 12 steps. Two of them were the ones that Miss Mojo mentioned. That's true. So it doesn't count, right? So those are our 10 hardest ballet steps. <laughs> and we... <laughs> 
We hope that you learned something. And if you are new to ballet, we hope that we could add a little bit more to your ballet vocabulary. Again, there is no definitive list for what is the hardest ballet step of all time. Everyone has their own strengths and their own challenges in different areas, and that's okay. As long as you keep yourself encouraged, keep practicing, and keep working hard, you can overcome anything. As always, go like the subscribe button and go smash that comment section in the description. <laughs> I think that's all from us for now. This is Ballet Rain signing off. Until the next video. <laughs> Bye.